Welcome to another episode of AI Chronicles, where today we're exploring Meta's latest endeavor, Purple Llama, a project that promises to redefine the landscape of generative AI with its focus on security and ethical application. Imagine a world where AI is not only powerful, but also safe and responsible. Purple Llama is not just a tool. It's a movement towards creating AI that respects human rights and ethical guidelines. In this episode, we delve into the intricate features of Purple Llama, from Llama Guard to Syasec Eval, and how they revolutionize AI development. Whether you're a developer, a tech enthusiast, or simply curious about the ethical implications of AI, this episode is a must watch. Hit the subscribe button and join us on this insightful journey into Meta's innovative approach to AI security and ethics. Let's discover how Purple Llama is shaping a safer AI future. So Meta has launched a new project called Purple Llama, and this time Meta is tackling the security concerns related to generative AI. In this video, I'll explain all about Purple Llama, why it's important, and how it can assist you in creating safer and more ethical AI applications. Purple Llama is Meta's new project to ensure open source AI models are safe. These models can do a lot, but might also create bad or fake content that can hurt people. For example, they could be used to make fake news harmful computer code or to pretend to be someone else online. This could lead to trouble if we don't watch out. Meta started Purple Llama to give developers tools and checks to use these AI models in a good and safe way. It uses ideas from Purple Teaming in cybersecurity, which mixes attack and defense methods. The goal is to help developers use AI models safely in the right way and to check for any weak spots or dangers. Now, Purple Llama has two main components, Llama Guard and Syasec Eval. Llama Guard is a tool that helps improve your current API security. It's good at finding risky or wrong content made by big text models like hate speech or fake news. It learns from different sources to understand various content types and uses advanced tech like machine learning to check what these models create. It's flexible and can be adjusted by developers for their needs, like choosing what content it should find. Syasec Eval is a set of tools for checking how safe big text models are from cyber threats. It has four parts, tests for unsafe coding, test for attack compliance, input output safety, and threat info. These tests see if a model suggests unsafe code and how well it follows cyber attack tactics. It helps make sure the models don't suggest risky code and don't help cyber attacks. It's useful for developers to meet industry standards and for researchers studying cybersecurity and text models. Purple Llama plays a key role in improving AI development and security. It helps developers create AI that is safe, ethical, and respects human rights. By using tools like CyberEval, developers can test their AI, particularly large language models, for any security risks such as generating unsafe code or violating privacy policies. This ensures the AI is reliable before it's used widely. For users, Purple Llama offers a way to understand and trust AI-generated content like texts and images. They can use the same tools to check if the content is misleading or manipulated, which helps protect them from potential harm or deception. Researchers also benefit from Purple Llama. It provides them with new tools and data for studying AI security. They can investigate how AI behaves under different cyber attack scenarios, helping advance the field of AI security. This project could really change things for both open source communities and commercial AI development. It gives the open source community free tools to make open generative AI models safer, which can help more people work together on these projects and share ideas. For commercial AI, it means they might have to follow new rules and spend more on making sure their AI models are secure which could make things more complex and competitive in the industry. But these changes aren't necessarily bad, and a lot depends on how Meta and others use Purple Llama. Meta doesn't want to hold back innovation. They aim to help developers use open generative AI models responsibly, offering resources and support. They're open to ideas from experts in cybersecurity for large language models, hoping to build trust and teamwork in the AI world. By making AI security risks clearer and easier to handle, Purple Llama offers some sophisticated features that really differentiate it from other AI security tools in the market. 
So first there is Llama Guard. This is a high-powered part of Purple Llama. It blends natural language understanding, generation, computer vision, and machine learning to examine what's produced by big language models. Llama Guard is skilled at recognizing a range of potentially harmful or inappropriate content. For example, it can detect hate speech, identifying when language models produce content that shows hatred or discrimination based on race, religion, gender, and more. It's not just about finding these issues. Llama Guard can also create more respectful, inclusive alternatives. When it comes to fake news, Llama Guard has a knack for spotting if a language model is churning out false or misleading information. It compares this content with reliable sources to find inconsistencies and can generate more accurate, trustworthy corrections or summaries. Phishing attempts are another area Llama Guard covers. It can pinpoint when a language model produces content aiming to deceive people into giving away personal or financial info. By analyzing the content for signs of trickery, Llama Guard offers helpful warnings and advice for security. Offensive jokes are also on Llama Guard's radar. It can tell if a joke generated by a language model might be racist, sexist, homophobic, or simply in bad taste. By understanding the tone and sentiment, Llama Guard suggests more appropriate, friendly content. Llama Guard isn't limited to these areas. It can also identify other risky or violating content types, like intellectual property infringement or illegal activities. Plus, it's versatile enough to be integrated into various AI applications, like chatbots or content creation tools. Then there is Syosec Eval. This is another part of Purple Llama's toolkit. It uses a combination of tests and intelligence feeds to assess cybersecurity risks in large language models. Syosec Eval is all about measuring and reducing the risk of cyber attacks, like phishing, malware, ransomware, and denial of service attacks. It does this through a series of safeguards that filter out, block or warn users about potentially harmful content. These safeguards can even prevent or reverse the effects of dangerous codes like ransomware. Syosec Eval, like Llama Guard, can be customized for different AI applications. It's useful in various settings, from code editors to software development platforms, helping to secure them against a wide range of cyber threats. For the future, Meta has plans to enhance Purple Llama by adding features for different kinds of content created by big language models like audio, videos, or 3D models. This will help address security issues in various AI-made formats. There's also competition and criticism to consider. Purple Llama faces rivals in the market like Google's Perspective API, IBM's AI Fairness 360, or Microsoft's Azure AI Security, which offer similar services. Depending on the specific needs, these could be better or worse than Purple Llama. And then there are different AI ethics frameworks critiquing it, like the Partnership on AI, the IEE Global Initiative, or the Montreal Declaration for Responsible AI. These groups have their own ideas about how AI should be fair, transparent and accountable, and they might not always agree with Purple Llama's approach. All right, that wraps up our deep dive into Meta's Purple Llama project. If you found this interesting and want to stay updated on more AI insights like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.